exciting things going on while my mom is cleaning and my mom is like not happy about being on camera. Mom, why don't you want to be on camera right now? I am not camera ready. I got so much stuff at the thrift store today, guys. It was like Christmas for me and I only paid $10 for all of it. Mom, do you want me to start with the stuff I got for you or you want me to start with the stuff I got for me? Oh my God, what did you get? Let's see. What? Do you really need all this clothes, Lauren? Really? I mean, it's clothes. It's it was all of this was ten dollars, Mom. That's not the point. Didn't you hear ever hear the story? When you get things, you gotta get rid of stuff. So this. And also, the neighbor. Also, our neighbor gave me a big box of oh clothes. God. I was really excited. We were walking our dogs, and she was like, Lauren. I have a big box of clothes I don't want. Do you want it? And of course I was like. Of course, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys. So um, I'm going to show you. We're, we'll go through the clothes first that I got. I This was one of the favorite things that I got. Now it could either be one or it could be two. How cute is this? It's like super hippie looking or I could wear it as like a cover up. Like how cute is this? <laughs> Isn't this cute? Mom, you like it? What do you think? Yeah, especially for this 10 degree weather. Yeah. <laughs> My mom has jokes. It is absolutely freezing here. Well, I'm wearing it back to California. I feel like I could like do stuff with it. I could like make it a dress. You know, like I could just like, we could really, we could really experiment with this like really cool material, guys. What do you think? What are your thoughts? It's an invention. I know. It's really cute. Super cute. Okay. So that's one of the things I got. And I got this. I got this jacket that I was just like, oh, this is so cute. Like, it's very, like, vintage. It's actually a guy's, I think, or, like, a really big one. Maybe, Mom, maybe this is better for you. You want to try it on? No. You, no. You, we're going to spray everything with microband. <laughs> really? You're putting this stuff on you? <laughs> Oh my god. All right, all right, fine. I won't try it on. Sanitize it first from the coronavirus. All right, so I got a bunch of books too, guys. I am a huge book fan. They had Tina Fey's Bossy Pants book, which I've always wanted to read because I love Tina Fey. So I got this was included and everything. And there's this really cute book, and it was called I Like You, which I thought I always love these like little books to leave around. I always do that. And here's, here's, um, here's an excerpt from Like You. Sometimes we don't say a word. We snuckle under fences. We spy secret places. If I am a goofus on the roofus, hollering my head off, you are too. My favorite store. If I pretend I'm drowning, you pretend you're saving me. If I am getting ready to pop a paper bag, then you are getting ready to jump. Hooray! That's because you really like me. You really like me, don't you? Very cute book. Um, what other books? I got Pitch Like a Girl, How a Woman Can Be Herself. I just thought this was cool because um, I just, I like to, to pitch things and I always like books like that. All right, more you meant baseball. Oh, I got this, I got this. I think I wanna take it back to LA because I have a very vintage 70s looking house, but it's like a toilet, it's like a tissue paper thing and it's green and I was like, oh, I like this, it's really cute. Hi guys, welcome. Welcome, I'm kind of a mess, I'm a wreck, but mommy, isn't this cute? Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got this. It's um, uh, the complete illustrated guide to massage. Okay. This I thought was good. I can work on massage, mom. You can be my um. Yeah. You can be my. You can do my that. feet tonight. I could do your feet. Oh, and I, this I remember reading in high school, and I saw it there, and it was if uh, things fall apart. I was like, oh, I want to reread this. All right, and I got this jacket, which I wasn't sure. I didn't like because you know I have so many jackets, but I saw this. My mom's face. <laughs> my mom's face of distress. Look at it. Isn't this cute? It was like something special about it that I felt like, like I don't have a jacket. I've never seen a jacket like this before. What do you think? It looks good. Everything looks good on you. So anyway. Yeah. What else is new? So nice um, black dress. <laughs> Thank you. So exciting. I'm just so excited, guys. I love going to the thrift store. So much fun. 
I felt so bad for the lady at the thrift store, guys. So she had something crazy happen to her. She had a bag of um, popcorn, right? And it was the kind of popcorn that comes with a little package of butter. So what she did was she um, used her teeth to open the butter package after it was in the microwave and the butter exploded in her face. She has third degree burns all over her face oh. and her chest. She had to go to the hospital. She was showing me these pictures. It was horrible. Awful. Oh, wow. so, yeah, so that just made me not want popcorn for a very long time. So what do you think? You gotta be careful of your face, guys, when things come out of the money. Yeah, yeah. No, you don't put your face near anything. Do we like this jacket? Or what are our what are our thoughts about this jacket? Guys, what are your thoughts, Mom? Oh, yes or no? Yeah, looks good. Should I donate it? Keep it? Donate it? What? <laughs> Stop putting it on. <laughs> All right. No more jacket. No more jacket. You guys are like, wash everything. Sanitize it. Okay. All right. I got this t-shirt. I thought this was really cute. I'm going to wash everything now. I'm going to wash everything. What, Mom? I think your father disconnected the washer, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I got this sweater. I thought this sweater was really nice. I was like, this is cute. I don't know how it goes though. There's a tag over there. How cute is this? It's really off the shoulder. <laughs> yeah. I like this sweater. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> hi. That's horrific. I know. Isn't that awful? And her birthday was tomorrow. I want to like make her an essential oil cream. I just felt so bad. I was like, I gotta make her a cream. Okay, this sweater is really cute. Oh, it's kind of, oh, it's a wool one, damn it. You know, it's so weird because you feel it in the store and it feels comfortable, then you put it on like your arms and you're like, oh, I don't think I can wear this. What do you think, mom? Looks like a doggy. Looks like a dog. it's cute, right? I thought it was really cute, but it's kind of itchy. Is it maybe just has like a, a little, little bit, a little wool. percentage? It's of like wool? wool and cashmere. So like I felt it and I felt the cashmere and then I put it on. And I'm like, oh, there's definitely wool in this. Well, if you have something on under it, you're not gonna. That's you, true. You know, you're not, not gonna feel it's it. It's not gonna touch your skin. <laughs> so sometimes I buy stuff, guys, and then I bring it back. I'm like, here, take it. I can't use this. <laughs> like, let's see how much wool is in it. Uh, that's, I always have to 80% wool. No, 60% wool. I have to remember to like look at those things. All right, and I got yeah, this. Yeah, because you can't put that in the washing machine either. I got this sweater, which I mean, there was some, I mean, everything I paid 10 bucks for, but I thought, oh, I can even cut it and make like a crop top from it. So it's going to be like one of those exploring experiments. My mom's making faces. It's so bright yellow, right? It's, it's like a greenish. I know I like it, but I'm just thinking of, of, of storage. I'm thinking of all these articles of clothing all packed into your room, into your bedroom. I got this one. This was a comfy shirt. I was like, oh, this looks cute. Oh, that's a cute, comfy shirt. And more books. <laughs> Some more books. So even if you get books packed in there, that's all like included in the $10? She just told me $10 for everything. I was like, all right. And I have this book already. I really like it, though. It's called Who Moved My Cheese? So um, I have actually two copies of it, but I'm like, I always like giving people things. So I was like, oh, I can give somebody this book. It's a really good book. Have you ever read it, Mom? No, I didn't even know. It's what, a really good book. Um, and I feel like the universe was like, you what are, are they talking again. about cheese that you eat really? The cheese so it was like or? an experiment that they did with these mice and they related them to people. And basically there was like a group of the, the mice who like, once they moved the cheese, they went to like the easy place to get the cheese. Like the mice just easily adapted. But these group of humans that were so used to getting their cheese at this one place, wouldn't go get their cheese. So it talked about their journey on finally giving up and starving and just being like whatever and going on and, and doing something else. It's a very, it's like a, maybe you need to read it, mommy. Yeah, maybe. You need to read it. Yeah, because it. Yeah, you need, to, you need to understand it. I thought maybe they were telling you not to eat the cheese. No, they were saying like, <laughs> that I eat it. Like <laughs> if the cheese isn't where you used to have it, mom, you have to go someplace else and get the cheese. Okay. Okay. I'll do that. It's a, it's a deeper meaning. Okay. All right. All I really know I learned in kindergarten, which I, I have in LA, but I thought, okay, this is here. Like, I love having books just around. And this I thought was really cool. This is the groundwork of metaphysical morals. I don't know, it just, it looked really cool. <laughs> I was like, this looks like a cool book. Oh yeah, it's by uh, Kant. Yeah, so I was like, I gotta read this one. 
And then um, this I got because it's an acting book, an anatomy of drama. So I thought that was really fun. Really, really fun. Okay, so that was it from our clothes at the thrift store. Mom, I got you some presents. You want to oh. come on camera? Okay. All right, Mom. This is a... Um, I gotta show her the back oh first because it's gosh. dirty. Yeah, this was it. Yeah, oh, that, yeah, that's very expensive. Yeah, so but it needs to be cleaned. It needs, yeah, it needs, it needs a, little, a lot of cleaning and it love. It needs a little cleaning, but, but it's, it's like it's. Uh, how much you think that normally costs, mommy? Oh, uh, this is about a hundred dollars. Yeah, isn't that crazy? At least, at least hundred. Hundred yeah. bucks and uh, a little dirty, but I got for ten, everything here for ten dollars. So probably like oh, less than great. fifty cents. And this actually, one of the women in the store said I should get this for you um, because it's great, she said, for meat. When you cut the meat, all the juices all go on the sides. Uh -huh. Do you have something like no, this? No, that's great. That's a good idea. It's a good idea. Also needs a little cleaning. Also needs a little cleaning, yeah. Yeah, yeah so much cleaning. Um, okay. And then for here, because I don't see it here, and I, you know, we don't have any muffin trays here. So I got a muffin tray in my mom's face again. What, you don't want their muffins? The old used muffin tray? We didn't have any here. No, I know, but it's really dirty. Well, it just, I liked it was, I like the okay. big muffins. Like, I hate, like, small muffins. I like big muffins. Yeah, well, I mean, I always put the paper cups in it anyway, but it's just, it needs a lot of cleaning up on the, on the sides. Well, we can so we'll soak it. We'll soak it. <laughs> All right. And then, uh, I was just, yesterday, I made a butt cake, guys, and... We didn't have any, for some reason, I couldn't find any of the bunt cake things. So I just bought a bunch. I bought a bunch of bunt cake things for here. We'll just put it on the dishwasher maybe, Mom. Come here, come on camera. Her face. Her face is not happy right now. So look, I don't know what this is. Okay. Is that for like oil, like fries, or what is that for? Um, maybe it just, it helps to release the cake. Oh, maybe. okay. Cause why is there like little holes at the bottom? Because if you put the bottom in, then it's going to be like a weird layer of something. Um, yeah. It's maybe for like a layer of it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to look that up. Yeah. And then I saw these, which I thought were really cool. Yeah. Little loaf. Little loaves. So we can make like a whole bunch of loaves. Okay. You're going to be in the kitchen, not me. You, you want to keep me in this kitchen forever. All right. And then oh I got... Oh, my God. <laughs> And Pyrex. And Pyrex. Of course I got some Pyrex. And this is actually, I think this is a, is this Firestone? No, it's, um, what is this called? Uh, something bake. Glass bake. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, that's yeah. similar. There's Careful. a cup. I know, I don't know if I just did that. I might have just broken this Pyrex. Really? That sucks if I did. Let me see, is there a piece of glass in here? No, I don't see any glass. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Definitely to release the cake. Yeah, so I had a lot of fun. But now we're going to go through the box that my neighbor gave me. Very excited to do that. My neighbor gave me some clothes as well. Some shirts. We're going to go through them. Oh, my goodness. How cute is this one? This looks so 80s. I love it. And it has shoulder pads. Oh, my goodness, Mom. How fun. I love the neighbors who just, like, see me and want to give me their old clothes. <laughs> my mom's face, though, when she saw the box, she goes, Mom, tell them what you said. I don't remember. Oh no, that's a big box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. I thought she was gonna. She said she's gonna bring down a few a few shirts for you to look through. She all. brought a giant box. Oh, this is so cute! Look how cute this is with the with the um, shoulder pads. I love it. I feel like an '80s woman. Isn't this cute, Mom? Yeah, I like shoulder pads. Yeah, I feel cool. Because I don't have shoulders. I have no <laughs> shoulders. Your mom is so cute. Thank you guys. What do you think guys? Keep it or donate it? What are your thoughts? I honestly, I've been trying to get in touch with Gracie. I have not been able to. I'm very worried about her. Um, she went through a lot of stuff and I just really hope she's okay. I've been texting her. She does not respond. So I'm a little bit, a um, little bit nervous about that. Um, all right, so we're going through everything. What else? Wow, there's a lot of shirts in here. Oh my goodness, I can just tell the way she has it packed. Wow, yeah, this is a medium. I mean, these are nice shirts. Look at this one. A medium uh, shirt. It's a very nice Eddie shirt. Eddie Bauer. It's a, yeah, Eddie Bauer shirt. Mm -hmm. 
So this is kind of cool. <sighs> All right, let's see. So cute. Oh, this is really cute. Oh, I like it. Very nice. Very nice. I like this. No, this one doesn't have shoulder pads. This one's really cute. Very excited. Keep. I know, right? <laughs> My mom's laughing. She's saying, oh, God. <laughs> All right. This one. Okay, this one's a large. I don't know if this one's going to fit. Let's see. I mean, it, let's see. Could be good to wear to bed. Oh, I like it. It looks like a nightshirt almost. Yeah, it's cute. Everyone said, you look pretty good in anything. Thank you. <laughs> hey, that's what my mother says. Nice. Oh, boy. I mean, she has everything folded so nicely. Um, okay, what is this one? Wow, look at this one. A pink tank top. Nice. You need to have a house that has all closets. No bedrooms, closets. <laughs> I have never, ever seen anyone in my life with so many clothes. Oh, this is cute. I don't know. You, you should have been a buyer. Okay, guys. Going through She's it all. not even halfway through. There's a lot in here. Oh, this is cute. What is this one? Very cute. I'm going to have a lot to go through. Let's see. Oh, I like this one. They all look good with that black dress under it. Yeah, this is cute. This could be a dress if I wear a belt with it. Put it use it as a dress. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> all right. Wow, Liz Claiborne, she has some nice stuff. What, look at this one. This is really nice. Very nice. Okay. There's so much stuff in here, Mom. I, I, can, I know. <laughs> this is a bit overwhelming, but awesome at the same time. Must be at least 50 shirts. Oh, this looks really 70s. I really like this one. I like this one. I like 70s looking clothes. Love it. Oh, I like this. What do you think? Yeah, again, everything looks good on you. This is cute. All right. Guys, which is your favorite? Let me know. Oh, boy. Oh, I like this. Nice. Very nice. Lauren's like spending her life organizing her clothes. I know, aren't I? I do spend a lot of time organizing clothes. Oh, this is cute. Look at this one. Yeah, I had a lot of those with little ties. And I like this. Like that. Somebody said it's like Christmas. I know. Isn't it nice when neighbors just come over and give you boxes of clothes? <laughs> Oh, air fryer tray. Oh, you think it's an air fryer tray? Oh, this is cute. Nice. Love it. How cute. Love this. Love this so much. So much clothes, guys. This is going to be a big... Uh... <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to fold all those and put them back in that box. She did a great job folding them, Mommy. She really yeah. did. This is... Ooh, yeah, she like got all those more. in there. Yeah, this old navy one. This is cute. Oh boy. Uh, guys, if you're just tuning in, my neighbor gave me a big box of clothes as well. It's been, oh, look at this, this is cute. Very cute, wow, right? Really fun. Oh, thank you, Susan, thank you so much. It's just, I can't keep all of this stuff. I can't have no room. I have no room, but it was really sweet of my neighbor. I. I to give me all such such cute stuff she doesn't a lot of people are 
gained weight during the pandemic. I unfortunately, when get to, when I get depressed, I lose weight. So <laughs> this is so nice. Well, if anything, I got some really cute. Like a lot of these are are really cute, like work looking shirts. Oh, look at this black one. This is nice. I like this. Very plain. Very plain. No, I'm not a model, guys. I mean, sometimes if I if I need money, I'll book up a modeling job for like uh, skincare or whatever. But I don't consider myself a model. But thank you. This is so cute. I'm just a. I just. I just. Um. Uh. What is that called, Mom? I manifest free stuff and cheap clothes into my life all the time. They find you. They find me, my mom. I don't know how. Yeah, just people give me stuff or like I find stuff or like I go shopping and they're like, oh, just take it. My mother always said, you only have six of everything. Oh boy. Only six things. Well, this is it. All of this stuff just took, <laughs> took me over the hump of six. Oh, look at this blue polka dot. Six shirts, six skirts, six pair of pants. Oh, no, well, this was my, C Carolina, this was my neighbor that gave me the box. Thank you, Susan. This was my neighbor that gave me the box, and she's our friend. I trust her. I don't think she would put any chemicals on the box, but, but yeah, no, she was, she's a really nice lady, um, and our dogs are best friends. It's Pepe's mom. She, uh, she was, she, she, actually, this summer, she gave me two of her jackets, because she also has an addiction for garage sailing and thrift storing, so she... <laughs> So she gave me a bunch of her stuff, but yeah, give it to George. No, I'm going to wear it all. We're going to see. I'm going to put an outfit on later. All right, guys, I love you. I'm really excited today. We're doing an awesome free yoga class with Rainbow Mars, who's one of my coolest friends. She's a really amazing. She was born in a teepee under a rainbow. Um, that's how cool. That's just so cool. And uh, she's an actress. She's been in a ton of movies, but she's how I got into the essential oils. She is my doTERRA kind of group ambassador or whatever and I just love her so much so I am so excited what's up Sheldon I see you commenting I'm so excited to do some yoga because I really need to like stretch and get um get in more shape you look so neat with the older shirts and oversized pants you wear thank you Doug did you see me in the thrift store because Carlos thought I looked homeless he's like Lauren are you gonna uh put like a nicer outfit on and I was like no why would I do that? Carlos, you want to show them what you bought at the thrift store? It's in the car. Oh, Carlos bought a bunch of uh, charging wires <laughs> uh, for pianos. Oh, that's awesome, Casey. Very cool. Very cool. I'm putting everything back now. I'm just going to try to put it all back before my mom yells at me to fold it better. Like, you know, old things nice. It's okay. I don't care if I'm wrinkled. Oh, I thought you got it from Amazon. Oh, no. No, I don't buy it. I, don't, I didn't spend it. The, the point was I didn't spend any money on this stuff. I'm so excited to read all these books. I'm really excited. This is so cool. I love it, too, when people already have their notes in the books. I'm like, what did they find important? <laughs> all right, guys. I love you. I hear Carlos playing the video in there, and it's kind of distracting. Or is that my mother? I'm not sure. Um, I am going to sign off. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And yeah, guys, if you manifest things, they come into your life like magic. All right. Love you guys. Bye.